Hello friends, this video on getting to know plants part 1 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. Topics to be covered in this lesson are Introduction Types of plants wherein we will talk about herbs, shrubs, trees Plant paths Root, stem, leaves, flower So here we are going to talk a lot about plants. We are going to see different types of plants, different parts of the plant. Now, when it comes to plants, it is not that we are going to discuss some one or two types of plants. There are a huge variety of plants which exist on this earth. So if you try to look at your surroundings, you will be able to see many different types of trees. So you can see banyan tree, you can see uh, mango trees, you can see apple trees, you can also see small plants like the rose plants or the china rose or hibiscus, whatever you call them. So huge varieties of plants and all of them differ so much from each other in size, shape, the type of flowers that they give, the type of fragrance that the flowers give. So there is a lot of distinction between different types of plants that exist. So on one hand, in the hilly areas, you get to see a lot of pine trees, which look somewhat like this. I mean, they are very tall and they have a shape of this kind. Whereas in the plain areas, you get to see these kind of big trees, huge, big, a very uh, thick uh, root. So you get to see these kind of trees. Again, in the deserted areas, you see plants like cactus, like how you see here, and they have in cactus, you really do not see leaves and, uh, you know, fruits and all those things very prominently. Here, you see spines. Spines are the spines or thorns, whatever you call them. They are the most prominent parts of cactus. You touch them, you have to be very careful. Otherwise, you might get hurt with the thorns of the cactus. Again, you look at small plants like the tomato plants or uh, the rose or the hibiscus. So, they are all plants which are not too big so in plants you have a huge variety now sometimes when you think of plants we, we often feel that okay all plants are of like the same type now basically they are of different types so when we actually start studying what are the different types of plants you will see that you end up having a huge classification just like animals so in case of animals also you see human beings they, we are also animals lion Lion is also an animal, insect, fishes. So these are all animals, but they are so much different from each other, right? A fish and a human being, they are so much different in their appearance, in their, uh, in the way they eat, in the way they live their life. So the entire thing is different. In a very similar way in plants also, we have different types of plants, different categories of plants and the processes within the plants also change from one plant to other. So maybe the, the way one plant uh, receives its food is different from the way another plant receives its food. So in plants also we do have all this distinction. So when it comes to plants, uh, if you want to have a look at the huge variety, you can compare grasses with huge trees. Again, you can compare them with plants like cactus or a tomato plant, which is comparatively smaller in size. Again, if you try to compare them with crops like maize or wheat, so you see, they, they really do not have any branch or uh, the brown stem. You do not see all those things. They are like leaf-like structure. They are almost like grass. It is just that a tall grass and you do not see the dis uh, do not see the branches distinctly. So different types of plants have different types of features. But here in this lesson, we will focus on in general, we will talk about plants in general. We will talk about the basic parts of a plant, which, which can be uh, applied to any plant. So it may happen that some plants have different type of stems. Some plants have um, different appearance of stem. So that's possible. But here we are going to talk about the general features or the general parts of a plant. So when you look at so many different plants, sometimes you feel that it's so difficult to study all of them because they are like so much different from each other. So just look at this scenario and try to compare this huge mango tree, which has a huge brown bark and the, again, it, it has a huge number of leaves, fruits. So it's a huge tree. And if you try to compare it with the grasses at the bottom on the ground, which are like a few inches tall, that's it. They cannot grow 
taller beyond that. So when you compare these tiny grasses with that of the mango tree, you feel that, okay, so both of these are plants, but they are so much different from each other, right? So that is why to make our study of plants a little simple, what we have done is we will study about a broad classification of plants based on their sizes. So we will categorize all the small plants together. We will categorize all the big plants together. And then we will start with our generalized discussion on plants. Thank you. Please visit www.examfear.com to watch more educational videos with a better experience. Please do not forget to like and subscribe to our YouTube channel for latest updates. Thank you once again.